Hi guys! Our subscribers have asked us, what would happen if the sun exploded? From the view of classic astrophysics, it's impossible since there are specific equations that stars must follow in order to burn at a constant temperature. But nature doesn't always follow the laws of physics. Not long ago, the temperature of the sun's core inexplicably raised, as reported by the media, several times hotter. That means that inside of our sun's core, nuclear reactions have sped up significantly. There are a few possible explanations for this. The sun could have swallowed some kind of matter that became a catalyst. If that's the case, then it will continue to get hotter. And if it doesn't follow the rules, then we can expect great catastrophe. Our biggest fear is that the planet will suddenly burst into flames. But that won't happen. The explosion will more likely not happen because gravity would keep our star from that kind of instant mass expansion. Most likely, the raising of the temperature in the core of the sun would lead to increased heat and light, as well as radiation. This means that it would be impossible to go outside during the day. In the sun, the temperatures could reach more than 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The increased light and radiation would damage our skin and vision. Ice melting is inevitable, but that is not the scariest part. The rise in temperatures would cause terrible hurricanes. The wind speeds could reach 186 miles per hour and higher. All the small buildings and trees would be wiped from the face of the earth. At first, the cold hurricanes with snow would be replaced with warm ones, bringing showers and thunderstorms. It would destroy all tropical vegetation and cause famine for hundreds of millions of people. Those who are saved will be those who live in strong stone or underground structures far from the coast and have stored water and food. While all the ice was melting, the hurricanes would not stop. At the same time, the temperatures will remain within the limits of human survival. It is possible in countries that are in the tropical belt, people would just need to hide in caves or burrow into the ground to keep from literally burning up. The rising temperature would increase the evaporation rate of water. Soon the planet would be covered in thick clouds that would block heat flares from the sun. That with the thick, steamed, saturated air will make it very hard to breathe. The majority of people with weak lungs and heart wouldn't survive that kind of sauna. At the same time, on the surface, the temperature would increase until there was a balance between solar energy received and consumed. Whether it would reach 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 140 degrees, or 176 degrees, we don't know. But in any case, nature, being in such conditions, would begin to cause the death of the majority of life. The survivors would be single-celled organisms, a few sea creatures, and some primitive plants. So if an explosion does happen to occur, then before our planet is covered in a heat wave of gas, we will first see sunlight that is thousands of times brighter than usual. So everything not in the shade will instantaneously be engulfed in fire, and the side of the planet facing the sun will experience raised temperature. But the air will be filled with ash and water vapor that will cover the sky and block all sunlight worse than ever before, and will ever only partially break through. It will be like a terrifying steam oven, where the most agonizing death waits for those who weren't burned within the first few minutes. The first waves of gas would reach the Earth in only a few hours. A worse fate awaits those on the dark side of Earth. The difference in temperature would create powerful winds that would reach 621 miles per hour, which will add sand and dust to the atmosphere. Monstrous wave would destroy coastal cities, and those who weren't washed away in the sea, and weren't suffocated in the whirlwinds or crushed by a skyscraper, can wait for the nightmare of sunrise. And with that comes the sun's all-destroying heat.